what is going on? It is yours truly, Tyler Reed Senior, also known as Trillis T or the Dipper with the Ripper. I mean, whatever you want to call me, I'll, I'll go by it. Today's video is going to be my five year long hair update. And it's gonna be a little bit different because I'm here in Japan and I'm walking around today. And so I'm gonna take you with me to the places and talk to you about my five year hair growth. Yes. To give you an idea of how this video is gonna go, I'm gonna show you my hair, I'm gonna tell you what products I use, and then thirdly, I'm gonna tell you my story of what has happened up to this point with my hair. And that's that, man. Let's let go. That means let's go for any of you 2009 lovers. Chris Brown. To give you an update, I've been working here for eight months with a company that is an after school program where I play English games and I have fun with the kids. We just do English activities and I'm like the special guest. What is the technical definition? A nonprofit youth organization here in Japan. So right now we are at a 7-Eleven, believe it or not. In Japan they do have 7-Elevens. And I'm gonna show you my hair right in front of this baby. <laughs> there we go. So I went to a Japanese salon and I cut off two inches. Um, mainly what that was is just a, a traditional trim. You know, you kinda gotta get those split ends cut and uh, get your stuff together. So I like this. Oops. Right now we are in the train station. Let me give you a 360 view of this lusciousness. Wait for it, wait for it. <laughs> and of course, no five year video would be complete without all my crazy hairstyles. Now this bun is my favorite bun. It is just getting your hair together and putting it at the back of your neck. So it's pretty self-explanatory, super great for eating. This next one is the top bun, and I like to pull this one out if I'm trying to be all fancy because it's always an eye jerker. It holds back the hair, it's perfect for eating, and you look dang good. That was good, that was really good. So it's a park time, park time. We're in the park and now I will show you what kind of products I've been using for my long hair within this year, this fifth year of growing it. I am using uh, shampoo and conditioner as always, but these products I don't exactly know because it's in a foreign language. I just go to the store and I look for the best one, but I really don't know how to read a whole bunch of Japanese, so it's extremely hard. What I have today, I have a Pantene shampoo. And I'll just show you guys this, but back home I don't use Pantene. Obviously when I'm looking for any product, I always go for a sulfate free product and sometimes I like cruelty free, but that's that depends on if I can find the product in cruelty free. A whole nother topic, I don't want to get into it too much, but as always, I look for sulfate-free shampoo. You got the Pantene Repair Shampoo. All the Japanese in the back. 
Isn't that wild, guys? They got Pantene over here in Japan. Okay, next up, the conditioner I'm using is a Dove conditioner. This stuff smells great and lathers on magnificently. Um, it's a blend of avocado extract and argon oil. Look at that. Yeah. Still enjoy the smell. Now, the final product that I have been using for my hair these last this last year is a Wet Brush Pro. If you can see that. This is the Paddle Brush by Wet, Wet Brush. It's a lot of brushes, I'm saying. When I first saw this brush and this company, I thought it was very cheap and I didn't want to use it. I was working at Montana last year and I would talk to people about brushes and everyone kept telling me about this wet brush, wet brush, wet brush. So I finally got it, and man, this is the best brush I've ever used in my entire life, wet brush. I'm not sponsored, nothing. This is just what I've been using. For my um, thick, wavy, curly hair, just, just glides through. So I recommend if you have hair like mine, the Wet Brush Pro Paddle Brush is amazing and does work. The last part of this, I told you guys that I was gonna tell you about my story and about what five years with long hair has really been like and what I'm doing in life. <laughs> um, five years, man, five years, is a, it's a trip. You get people that like your long hair and they'll tell you why they like it and how cool it is that you're living life and doing what you want to do and you're free and then there's other people that will tell you the complete opposite I've been told to cut my hair I've been called a hippie I've been told I smoke you name it I've been called it but it kind of comes with the game especially the the, the turf man people people love the long hair I, I mean chicks love it some dudes even love it like I personally have really fell in love with my long hair. I enjoy maintaining it, I enjoy brushing it, I enjoy putting products in it. It's who I am and it's become so much of what I identify with is my long hair. For me, man, let those people talk their stuff. <laughs> I'm still gonna do what I wanna do.